okay so here we will talk about the placement of the window and its effect so again uh, the necessary library or libraries are basically imported numpy scipy and matplotlib and uh, this is the signal which has been generated and we consider two different frequencies having the same amplitudes first section having 256 number of sample points second section having also 256 number of sample points now we are basically selecting few of the parameters that means uh, number of DFT points is exactly equals to 256 number of sample points and uh, now we will select different different starting index what is the starting index basically we will do some spectrum analysis over a short window already we have seen short time Fourier transform and its effect so just out of this uh, 512 number of samples we will consider any 256 number of interval sample intervals right and we will see how the spectrum basically differs as you can see there are two frequency components within the total duration lower frequency and the higher frequencies so these two are arbitrary frequencies are considered and we are considering n equals to 256 already been initialized in this particular run section so that's why n equals to 250 that means the number of points in DFT analysis is basically 256 okay so start index start ID we are considering zero first that means we are starting to consider the signal from this particular first sample point and go up to the end index that is equals to 0 plus 256 that is end index equals to 256 now if you start selecting these uh, first 256 number of sample points and if we run these sections we will see okay this is the uh, this is the signal which is basically coming from this particular section and there are 256 number of sample points and only one frequency component is there that is only one spike is shooting up at this particular frequency bin index and the below figure we can see this is the time domain signal which has been windowed that means the signal this particular case the signal has been uh, signal has been passed through a DFT analysis block and produces a spectrum of that now in the second case the signal has was passed to a window function and we consider hanging window for that okay so hanging window so it has a it is basically tapered in the two end positions and then uh, its DFT is taken so these are the differences of uh, spectrum of these two one is directly the signal itself and then signal is basically windowed by a hanging functions right it is effectively signal again we can say that the first one is also windowed function where window function is rectangular one so nothing window is used means window function by default is rectangular one so now we will see the interesting feature right now okay so now what I'm doing I'm just shifting my starting index from 0 to 64 that means we are starting the sample point from somewhat here in this particular region and go up to 256 number of sample points so it will be going and it will be going inside the of this high frequency region little bit so if we do that run this section then run the plotting section as you can see that this is again 256 number of sample point but originally the initial point taken from 64 number of samples 64th sample then keep on counting next 256 number of sample points so as already we predicted that it will be going inside of this high frequency region little bit okay so in this particular in this particular time window there are two frequency components one is low another is high but we can see there are two spikes although they are having same amplitude but the two spikes are different amplitude because why because the contribution of the high frequency is a little less the energy of the high frequency is a little less compared to the energy of the compared to the energy of this particular low frequency component so that's why again it is basically the Percival's theorem that the energy component conservation will be there across these frequencies and uh, so basically this is the strong peak for the low frequencies and a very weak peak compared to the low frequency weak peak is basically indicating at the high frequency region 
well so if you now just window this particular uh, signal using same heading window it will be showing significant peak and it will reduce the effect of the another peak because the again we are reducing the energy of the high frequency components by damping factors so its energy gets little less compared to the earlier situation that's why it is basically spectrum peak is going to diminish okay or reduces so now if you start from again interesting observation 100 sample so it will be somewhere here so 100 plus 256 means 100 to 356 okay so it will be uh, midway of this particular signals so if we now start running this then if we just run this particular section how interesting that means uh, more or less apparently this is little equivalent this number and that number still low frequency uh, duration is more that's why still having the same effects now if we just do something like that 128 and if we run it then I'm doing the same thing repeatedly just changing the initial position of the short time signal window yes here 50 percent contributions mostly you can see that the 50 percent contributions so both the peaks are having the same height apparently it should be same height right but one interesting thing is that the effect of the window is basically very much well understandable in this particular figure we can see there are some unwanted ripples which are occurring at the position where there is no strong peak as well in true in the signals right so these particular ripples are get rid of while we are using window functions so that is the advantage of the window functions to have a very true nature of the signal spectrum so now if we do a little bit this shift it more towards the right that means less amount of low frequency more amount of duration of the high frequencies so if we do that so picture is different yes so more high frequency component duration so a strong peak and less amount low frequency component strong uh, peak is less okay and this is the corresponding window sections so now if we just do something more interesting only we are going to consider about the high frequency region and now if we run it we'll see only one spike only one spike at the high frequencies and this is exactly the window function is showing exactly the same thing but little change in the spectral shape right so this is basically the interesting phenomena of how do you place a particular window and uh, what is the uses of window as well